than the last stream, right? Last stream I had it drawn something like this. Um, now that we've gotten more knowledge, more pieces of evidence, I feel more comfortable just going to the, going to the extremes. Um, I put out a tweet yesterday talking about how this looked like stepping stone redistribution. Totally was totally wrong on that. It's definitely not a stepping stone re redistribution because it shouldn't be up here if it was. Now, does that mean that this is reaccumulation and we're going to mark up? No. Does it mean that this is still distribution? No. Does it look like distribution? Yes, it does look like distribution. Um, but what I think we really need for it to be distribution is a... Uh, so if we look in the daily chart, if we get a daily wick, a, let's draw a cleaner level than this. If we get a daily wick above the high that closes below, very similar to the, um, I'll keep this up, very similar to the monthly B bands chart. So something that does this, or or that more specifically. If we get something like that, this would be an early sign on the daily chart. So something that comes up here and comes down that we're going to make a daily M top just like we did here, right? Here's our close outside the band our close inside the band and boom, back down. So it would, it would look like a fake breakout that reverses. And we would target the, just like on the monthly chart that I showed earlier, you would target the monthly or the midline. And then if the midline fails, we would target the lower band. But because this thing's sloping upward so aggressively, um, every day that passes, this B band comes up pretty aggressively. So like, if we look at, at this and compare it to this, like if we step through time, like watch how aggressively the, uh, the lower band comes up. Watch how aggressively the, lo the lower band steps up. Like it starts off really far behind. And then quickly, this thing just comes screaming up. Um, I would expect, even if we do get an M top on the daily, this thing's going to come screaming up. So even if it does go down to the lower band, lower band's probably going to be like here, which makes sense because that's also our daily C-clamp target, right? Where's the Bollinger Bands? <laughs> So if we throw Bollinger Bands on here, oh god, this looks like shit. Let me fix this. And I'll get rid of the, the cloud so it cleans it up a little bit. Oh, what? That's not what I meant to do. Boom, boom, boom. We'll get rid of you and we'll get rid of you. There we go. Boom. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, that's not what I meant to get rid of. So let's say, let, let's just, let's just play hypothetical, right? Let's say if this thing does make an M top where it comes up and closes below, um, target would immediately be the midline. If the midline fails, it'd be the lower boundary of the B band, which I guess I can just draw it. If we continue the slope, it looks something like this. And by the time it came down, it would be the C-clamp target. So a lot of reasons to expect a pullback here. Does that mean we're going to get it? No. Do we have a plan if we don't get the pullback? Yes. Plan is we wait for something like this. to grip onto that upper band 
or you know the lower band, right? One of the two. And once it grips onto the upper band, we go okay, enter long, boom, enjoy the ride up. It grips the lower band, we go okay, I'm wrong, enjoy the ride down. A UTAD would be golden. Yeah, that'd be sick. <clears throat> so a UTAD is an up thrust after distribution. It's basically, oops, it is, it would look like this. Market comes up, comes down, right? So this would be on the daily chart. It'd be the move up, up, up to form the M top. Um, a an up thrust after distribution is basically like the final thrust into the market before it it nukes so if that sets up then this would you know if, if it does come up here boom and comes back down that would be a really good indication that we're going to head for that c clamp target or the m top target one of the two But so far with this current trading range, there's like no volume here on this move up. And this is very reminiscent of, of our prior market top, where there was just no volume on the right up here. Zero volume. These are question marks. Zero volume. Where is it? Non-existent. Anyway, oh, let's do daily B bands are still in, I need to add, to add to these notes. <clears throat> we talked about a lot. All right, so daily B bands are still in need of consolidation. If for whatever reason we move up anyway, watch for a failure of the upper band. Daily B bands, daily B band breakout failure would also set up a potential bands M top similar to the monthly M top back in 2021 and we'll say target equals I'm actually not going to give a number because these are dynamic targets target equals um, I'll say target one equals midline target two equals uh, lower band. Watch for close. I'll, I'll, I'll make the caveat here. Note, target two comes in play if we close below the midline. There we go. I'll move this back. Okay. So for those who came from CryptoJack stream, um, if you want these stream notes, um, head over to my Discord. I, I have a, a stream section in my Discord, um, or I'll, ah, I forgot to update the bot. Let me let me go ahead and get a link. Don't I, I think that link is broken. I, I gotta update it. I accidentally posted a a link with a timer on it. If if you if you want these notes, um, I post them after every stream there, and I post a recording, so um, you can see all my, all my prior notes from there. Basically, like a, a diary of sorts. But uh, yeah. Okay.
Oh, also, um, I'll take this opportunity too. Um, if you're interested in, so the, the, the stream section is totally free. Like I, I don't charge anything for that, but if you're interested in joining like the trading community, like that aspect of it, where we actually discuss trades and, you know, foster education and growth as a human, uh, then you can go ahead and find the application to that, uh, in the stream section. And if you're interested, um, go ahead and fill that out and shoot me a message and we'll talk. Okay. Um, what else do we want to say about this? Is there anything else, any questions about, about Bitcoin or do you guys want to go into altcoins?